today in this tutorial I am going to show you how to keep back up your important files and folders using file history in Windows 10. Windows 10 file history is an easy way to backing up your personal files. This feature takes snapshots of versions of your files and stores them on an external hard drive. Over time you build up a library of past versions that you can recover if you need. Say for example, you need a sentence from the third version of a document, but you have deleted it long, long ago. So what to do? If you have the cup, you can dig into the file history, retrieve the right version of your document, and copy the sentence. That's all. Okay, now we are going to configure backup using file history. Okay, now then go to settings. Click on update and security. Now click on backup. Hello. Backup using file history. Backup your files to another drive and restore them if the originals are lost, damaged or deleted. Okay, now first of all we have to select a drive where we want to keep our backup. Okay, click on add a drive. Okay, so we have a, a new volume E drive. Uh, Okay, now uh, automatically backup file is my file is turned on. Okay, now click on more options. That's the overview size of backup zero bytes. That's because we have not uh, start picking backup. Here, back up my files, schedule, when will be back up, ok, you can set schedule here, every 10 minutes or every 15 minutes, every 20 minutes, every 30 minutes, every hour by default, ok, you can set every hour by default, then keep back up, that means, how many times my backup will be kept in this chat? Okay, so click on here uh, until a space is needed, or one month, or three months, or six months, or nine months, one year, two years, or forever. Forever is default. Okay, no problem. We can set this. Here you can add by the, uh, add a folder that you want to keep backup. So by default, understand uh, keep backup of these user documents, save games, links, documents, favorites, contacts, uh, uh, desktop, and so on. Okay. So if, if you want, you can. Uh, add a folder here. Okay, I am going to add a folder. If you don't want to keep any folder in your backup plan, just click it and click on remove. Okay, and the folder is removed. Then you have backed up a folder, but you don't want to keep 
data of a SAP folder or that parent folder. Okay, for example, you have uh, kept data of your desktop. Okay, desktop. But you don't want to keep data of the SAP folder of the desktop. Then you can exclude these folders. Okay, I'm going to exclude a folder. You can have now desktop. Okay, to this folder. Okay, this folder folder is is excluded from the keeping backup. Okay, now if you are using a drive for keeping backup, but uh, you have taken decision that uh, you will not keep backup in this drive. So you can stop using drive from there. Okay. Okay. No problem. Now we can uh, test. Now I'm high. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to keep in backup. Click on backup now. Backing up your data. Okay, backup uh, keeping backup is completed. Uh, here last backup date and time also mentioned here. Okay, time to date. Now I am going to delete this one. Go to the menu. You can set in update and security. Backup. More option. Look, restore files from the current backup. Click on it. Okay. Here, all backup folders you can see. Okay. Click on desktop. Yeah. Look. Hello, the folder is there. Okay, fine. You can have uh, click on this button to register to the original location. Click. Okay, don't do that. Now, close. Look. Click is there. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Keep watching.